Hi everyone, let me show you a super simple uh, bread recipe which you can make at home any day, easily. Uh, first of all we need to weigh that 600 grams of uh, strong bread flour and we add uh, 3 teaspoons of salt to it. We also need 15 grams of active dried yeast and 250 ml of lukewarm uh, milk. We need 50 grams of vegetable oil. We add a couple of uh, teaspoons of sugar to the lukewarm milk and the yeast. The sugar will help to feed the, the yeast and help activate it. And we wait about five minutes, we add the oil and the milk mixture to the flour. We also need another 150 ml of lukewarm water, which we can add it to the flour, and we start combining it together till it comes uh, to like a doughy consistency, which we're going to turn onto the work surface and start the process of the kneading. Make sure you've got some flowers on the side. For dusting, uh, which is helps to work with the dough. Uh, we're going to knead it for about 10 to 12 minutes. Uh, you know, just stretch it and pull it back, rub it against the work surface. Uh, the purpose of the kneading, uh, this is where the, the bread is formed gluten. The, the, the more you actually work around with the flour and the dough, the more gluten you will develop. This is very important for the bread because the gluten will hold the gases that the yeast produce, uh, which will have the bread to rise on the end. And when it's done, uh, we put it back into the bowl and uh, dust some flour on top and cover it and keep it in a warm place for about an hour, hour and a half or till it's doubled its size. And now we turn it out to the work surface again and we start knocking it back down and knock the air out. Cut it into eight pieces then divide each piece into three then roll them into a kind of cigar shapes the reason we're doing this is because we're going to plant those cigar shapes together just to give a bit more exciting appearance to our final product, our bread. Since I haven't got any baking parchment at home, I use semolina in the trays to prevent the dough stick to the bottom. Uh, when I finished with the plotting, I put them in a tray and I proofed the bread for about another 25 to 30 minutes and after I just applied egg wash which was a little bit of cold milk and one egg yolk. This will give us a nice uh, finish on the bread. I also put some poppy seeds and sesame seeds on there but you can put cheese, uh, herbs, rosemary, sea salt, whatever you like on the bread. Put them in a preheated oven around 200 degrees and bake it for about 35 to 40 minutes. And here we are, this is the end product. Uh, obviously, uh, turn them out from the, uh, from the baking trays. Uh, be careful, don't burn yourself. Uh, do not eat them straight away when it's hot. I know it's a huge temptation, but wait at least 20 minutes and cool it down slightly before, before you enjoy it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the recipe and the video. This was uh, my very first one, hopefully more to follow. And thank you again for watching. Stay safe and stay at home. See you soon, guys.